My name is Matt Phillips. I'm Lonely Planet's destination editor to Sub-Saharan Africa, and I'm just back from Namibia. Namibia, in a nutshell, is incredible desert landscapes, amazing wildlife, um, enigmatic cultures. It's just one big adventure. Not many people actually know that much about Namibia, but the wildlife is definitely some of the best, especially in Atosha National Park in the north. Um, during the dry season from, say, May to August, actually kind of peaking into September and October, I've had rhinos, elephants, a leopard at the waterhole at the same time. It's, you, you don't get that in other parks. You kind of see one species at a time, where in, in Atosha you see multiple animals at the same time. Defining moment in Namibia, taking the low flight over the, the desert. It's just, it's almost like you're flying over an ocean. Like if you had strange colored glasses on, you'd be, be like you're flying over an ocean. It just like look like waves rolling towards the Atlantic, and but the scale is off the chart, like a thousand foot high dunes. A bizarre encounter I had in Namibia recently would be in the Rongo Mountains. I was kind of coming back to my room one night, and a woman came in the other direction. She just said, "I've got a bit of a problem." I said, "What's that?" She said, "I've got a scorpion in my room." And so I just went into a room, and it was basically right on the curtain. Of the, on the back side of the curtain as you went into the room. So I slipped past it and managed to get it into um, a glass and disposed of it outside. Well, I'm not, I don't like scorpions, don't get, <laughs> don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, if, you just, if you're careful, they're not going to jump or spit at you. Um, I'd say the most quintessential experience in the movie would be going out into the desert and hiking along the crests of dunes. Um, there's just something about making fresh tracks. It's like skiing, but just Walking up the ridge of a dune, uh, walking along the crest of a dune, and uh, sometimes, depending where you are in Namibia, they're singing dunes. So as you walk, you can, the sand starts to slough off, and the whole dune starts to vibrate and makes quite a cool sound. The thing that always stands out in my mind uh, for Namibia is just the landscape, and it's just no matter where you are, there's just always something incredible to look at. And I grew up in Vancouver, so I love the mountains and I love the ocean, but there's just something about a desert that's a strange mix of the two, and. Uh, yeah, whenever I, if someone's just sick of Namibia, I close my eyes and I just think of the dunes and the deserts and the mountains.